Hello friends. Today I am just describing about how to calculate the concentration of any ligand such as quercetin. Actually this is important to get information about the exact concentration of any ligands or anything by which you have to do some analytical experiments. So first of all I have to just describe about what is the concept and what is the concept behind this. Okay. So this is a just like a cuvette and I have to use my quercetin and use this quercetin after titration and have calculate the rest of the experiment. So I just described this is the blue one this is the buffer first I have to use this buffer as a baseline then titrate every times around 5 microliter in each first time 2 ml of my buffer and then 5 microliter every time each then I will titrate all them so around 25 microliter of the sample of quercetin has been used here and get a absorbance ok so these are the absorbance spectra these are the nanometer these are the buffer that is a baseline 0 1 that is a titration 5 microliter, 10 microliter, 15 microliter, 20 microliter, and 25 microliter. Now I have to show what are the spectra look like. This spectra look like this. And here it has seen that with 5 microliter, then 10 microliter, then 15 microliter, and the spectra increase. So it means it can be used as a data to calculate the exact concentration of the quercetin. Okay. As we know, the quercetin have extension coefficient is at 19.98 at 257 nanometer and 21.88 at 376 nanometer. So first of all, I have just go for you may delete it. Yeah, here yeah. the 257 nanometer. You just go through the 257 nanometer. Yeah. Now you calculate this one. Just copy this one make a new worksheet and input this task so is a paste transpose trans transpose here is a 257 nanometer okay the same thing you have to do for a 376 nanometer so here you just select 376 nanometer this one we have to do the same as has been done for the 257 nanometer just here and paste transpose and this is a 376 nanometer okay we can also add some more columns add columns just suppose two more columns and here I just change it to the titration okay and this should be x-axis just make confirm okay so titration should be this one 0 then 5 microliter then 10 microliter then 15 microliter, then 20 microliter, and then 25 microliter. As we know, the formula is y equal to mx plus c. That is a very common formula. We are c the tangent, and the same thing absorbs into ECL. That is the e for extensive coefficient, c for concentration, and l for path length. Here, path length is one nanometer. So I can use this one and use with this comparison we can calculate the x-axis the same thing had done here but here just uh, go through worksheet script mm. yeah. here here you mean could input call x-axis equal 
itu for titrate plus 2000 means the 2 ml that is the 2000 microliter plus uh, Axis or rotate. Yeah, here something is missing. Okay, I think now it work. Yeah. So this one. Okay. Now we have to change. Yeah, this should be a x axis. Change in x axis. And it should be in y axis. So we change in it in y axis. Now this x-axis and y-axis has been used. Let's use this one and fit linear. Okay, now you can calculate uh, this value. This value is the same value as we describe here. This is the same concept by which we will get uh, this value. Okay. Again, uh, we have to do this one with three seventy-six nanometer. And uh, analysis from the fit linear. Again, now this is value this one. Okay. Just make a new script. And you may input that this is for 257 nanometer, and this is for 376 nanometer. The intercept it's here for 376 is this one. Seven will be this one. Okay. Now all the experiment rest of the things has been done here. I can add more columns. Add columns. Suppose just add two more columns. Okay. And uh, this should be nanometer. Okay. No issue. And here we can say suppose. Uh, That ECL, I think this would be better option. And now this is extension, so EXT. I just describe like extension, and this should be concentration. So okay, see. Extension, as I already know, for the 257 is 19.95. So just mention here 19.95, and that is 21.88. Now we calculate the concentration. Just here, just go to Tools, Worksheet, Script, and input command like a call C equal to call ECL as we had found. Call extension. Yeah. So these are the concentration of uh, quercetin, and these are the nanometer. For better, just make a mean. So three point seven one. Two 
फोर एट प्लस थ्री पॉइंट एट वन जीरो सेवन टू जिस गेट मी इट शुड बी डिवाइडेड बाय टू एंड दैट्स इट दिस इज द फाइनल कंसल्टेशन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन